What's up guys, it's Dan from Half the Battle. I'm here with Coach Yusuf, one of the best strength and conditioning coaches in Atlanta. Today we're gonna to talk about the Russian Ronda knee bar. So y'all saw it, Russian Ronda submitted Stephanie Egger. It went kind of something like this. So Russian Ronda was trying to attack with a judo throw. Stephanie Egger was very savvy. She gets her head out the way. They're in a body lock situation. So in order to go for the rolling knee bar from here, I need the leg I'm trying to attack to be in between my two legs. From there, I'm gonna do a forward shoulder roll or a somersault, and while I do that, I'm gonna grab the leg I'm attacking. So it goes something like this. So here, we're in a knee bar situation. What I have to do to, to finish the knee bar is pinch my knees together, and I like to come around like this, and then I just extend my hips, and I get my tap right away. So that's what she tried to do initially, but it went down a little bit differently. So she was trying to get the judo throw. Stephanie Egger was aware of it. She got her head out. Now credit to Stephanie Egger because she recognized the fact that Russian Ronda was going for the rolling knee bar. So she attempts the rolling knee bar, and Stephanie Egger has a very good base with her judo background. So there's a couple different ways to finish it from here. This is just a variation of what Russian Ronda did, but I need to go from my left shoulder to my right shoulder. In order to do that, I like to use my core, my hips, and my lower body to get them to the other side. So I do that. Now we're in the knee bar situation. From here, I do the same thing. I pinch my knees together, I come around like this, and I extend my hips. And you're gonna get your tap right away. That's the Russian Ronda knee bar. That's your technique of the week. Tune in next week for the next one.